click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the Rutherford's atomic model and now here let me talk about the drawbacks of the Rutherford's atomic model. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the Rutherford atomic model and in that we have got to know that is the electrons are the one which are revolving around the nucleus and the nucleus is the one that consists of a positive charge and the total number of protons and the total number of electrons are the same that's the reason the atom is nothing but it is neutral. So based on all this theory which was been given by Rutherford it was found that this would be the structure of atom but Despite of giving such a popular theories, there are certain drawbacks of the Rutherford that is what I am going to talk about. So what are the theories? Let me talk about that. So let us explain this with the help of a particular diagram. So friends, according to the classical electromagnetic theory, if electron or a particle is revolving around its opposite charge, in this case basically the electron is the one that is revolving around its opposite charge, that is a proton that has been present in the nucleus. So in that case, Whenever a particle is revolving, obviously it will radiate energy. So here basically according to the Rutherford model, so electron that is revolving around the nucleus, it should emit radiation. And once it emit radiation, obviously the energy will be less and that is how basically it will come back to the proton and it will fall on this nucleus and that is how basically the electron get attached to this proton but in actual practice this theory is very much wrong according to rutherford since electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a continuous pattern and that's the reason that it will radiate energy in every moment so that means the emission of the radiation is continuous but in actual practice we have got to know because of the atomic spectra that is the radiations are forming a discontinuous spectra and that was the drawback of the Rutherford's atomic model and talking about the next thing that is here the electrons since Rutherford have mentioned that electrons are basically revolving around the nucleus and there is an empty space in atom so that means the electron can occupy any space between the nucleus and its outermost uh, position of the electron where it is basically revolving from where it is revolving so that's the reason that electron can occupy the space between the positive charge nucleus and any space between it but in actual practice we have got to know that is an atom consists of various energy level that was not explained by the Rutherford atomic model so therefore these are the certain drawbacks that is what I want to discuss about in this topic and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.